hey guys i'm excited to introduce to you my um new mock-up design which is what you can see right now and i've also been able to do for other um streetwear um design and these are the final um animation of this um design so before we continue don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more videos so when you purchase um this um, mock-up design what you find here is a folder and this folder contain um a texture folder whereby you can change the this texture folder allows you to change the design on the mock-ups so we have four there and on screen on my blender screen you can see there are 40 shirts there so let's go back to the folder so i'm going to move back so here we have the t-shirt which is um the t-shirt image which is for the um clo 3d um, file you can see though it is already um, animated on clo 3d the wind simulation so if you need the clo 3d file of this um, mock-up it's also there then we have the animation file this is the alembic file because i'll be giving you every necessary um, information about the old mock-up you get it inside this folder and also this is the blender file which is on my screen um right now so the next thing i'll do now is to open my photoshop file so that i can open the four um texture file so that we can make changes on this um mock-up so let me go to photoshop i'm going to select open then i'm going to go to where my um files are located i'm coming so let me go to the t-shirt so yeah so select texture i'm going to select the four of them and select open so as you can see these are the four um photoshop um, file which is the same thing we have on our blender here right now so um the next thing you can do is to when you turn off this label all this um, information will disappear or the old um, front back you can do that for everything you can turn everything off turn everything off let's turn everything off let's turn everything off so um this um color when you select this rectangle color this rectangle box sorry it allows you to change the color of the um t-shirt so you can just select this select this then you can change it to let me look for change it to this you get and when you make any changes make sure you are saving it ctrl s to save ctrl s to save and this particular color is going to appear this is t-shirt one so when we go to um blender this is t-shirt one here which is the first one here so what i'll do is go back to the viewport shading the previous one because we have to reload the cycles and select this you can see the color has changed and also the label has been um, removed so let's assume we want to change the details on this um 40 share there are different ways you can do that so let i will explain that in this um tutorial so what you need to do is go to photoshop then um let's assume you want to you don't want to use a color you have a particular texture you want to use or a graphic you want to place or a pattern you can just open your let me go to my download and look for something you can place on so let's go to download i'm probably for uh, i'm going to be using different styles so let's say i want to place this pattern open So this i can select this and ctrl c so when i copy it i'm going to paste it in the um t-shirt psd folder you can delete this just select it and delete then paste the pattern this is the overlay pattern i want to use so make sure it's on top of the um mock-up uv map then what you do is to right click and select clip mask and when you are done with this what you do next is what save when you are done save it so contrast to save then you can go to the second one let's as not want to add a graphic so um so i will just add one or two graphics there let me let me add this so let's say ctrl c copy and i'm going to paste it in this file so i can just i'm coming so 
let me select this so then control t i'll just probably expand it well and just place it in front just rotate it a bit and place it like that i can decide to change the color so i will just um, select this then select this and let's probably use uh let me look for something okay let's use this and i'll save Control s to um save so i'll go to t-shirt 3 probably add change the color to uh, let me change the color to this i still even same with the previous one i just so i can just add the graphics one or two graphics Then let's control C and um, sorry, T shirt 3, control V. Uh, let me just select all of this. So control T, drag it, scale it, drag it. Yes. So uh, let me just leave the number. Let me leave the, let me just see the color of the fourth one. Let me change to another color. So I want to make sure I've saved all this file. I didn't save this. I'm supposed to save it before moving. So uh and apply the old settings. So mark it and control S to save. I'll do this for the fourth one too. Okay, let me let me delete all these other graphics that I have in here. So Um, okay, let's move to the next one and um, Let's add this toxic this black. Okay, this is wrong. So let me look for another one So I'll copy this and I'm going to paste it on the fourth one control V control T scale it place it here mark and save so when i'm done um doing that i'll go back to my photoshop file sorry my blender um file i'll select this then to reload all the changes i've made on that um, psd file so as you can see this is the result you can scroll through or oh, zoom closer sorry so this is it here so this is the result you can turn off less you can these are the icons to turn it off see you can turn this off you can you see this so this just how to use the mock-up is very easy and simple so let's move to other aspect of this um tutorial so um the next thing i'll talk about is just the um lightning so i added like three different lightning there but then you might decide to do your own special lightning on the clothes if you don't want this so i can turn off this and turn off my camera just make sure that if you want to render your design and you turn off anything make sure you turn it off and also turn off the camera so that it doesn't appear in your render so this is the area light another area light and this is above this area light is above this is it here so uh, let me select the area light so you can show yeah this is it above and there's one in front is it uh, this spotlight sorry so and the one in front is this one here yeah this one is in front this is it facing it so you can play around with any color you prefer also you can change the color of the lightning so let's say i want to use um the spotlight let me turn off camera too you can change the color of the spotlight can you see and if you feel um the white color is fine then you can just go to the plane the plane is the background so when you select the plane you can change the color of the plane and i think that is more effective or that's better you can see this and I think this is even better. So let's move closer. 
so uh, this is it also if you feel the light is too bright based on the color you are trying to use on the design then you can focus your just select the um, lightning you are using it is either spotlight the area one or the area so just change it you can set it to one five you can see the um, power um, mock up also uh, we have the camera too this is the camera this is i'm using this um 90 80 by um 1080 1920 by 1080 sorry 1080 by 1920 you get so this are uh, this is the size for reels and um the tiktok video so this is the um dimension for that so that's what i'm using it for but then you can always change it to 1080 by 1080 depending on the size you want to um use also this is 24 um, frame per second you can change it to 30 frame i don't know what choice you want to use and this animation is 10 seconds longer so but if you are using 24 frames you can get up to 12 um seconds or more you get you can even get up to 15 seconds because i kept on um i kept on doing the wind simulation for a longer frame some are some are as high as um, 500 frames which is almost close to um 20 seconds so um another um aspect on the um rendering is um let's start with um this okay this one is just an add-on so let me start with um this so in case you want to use this um design in a transparent background so what i would advise you to do firstly is to you can hide your plane and hide your camera of the hide the camera of the plane that's if you want to render in a transparent background so that's the first thing you will do so um depending i don't know what kind of lightning you want to do you can use any of the lightning you prefer then the next thing we are going to do is to go to the render when you go to render scroll down look for film this is film here then you turn on transparency you can see the background has changed this is transparency then you can just go back to um outputs properties then select a folder you want to um you want your image uh your render to be um saved you get it's going to be in a png sequence then you can take it to any or any video editor you want and place it on any other background you want to um use this um mock-up on so let's say i want to render an animation or an image the shortcut you can press on your keyboard is um f12 for uh, to render image and control f12 to render um animation or you can just select render here and you see render image here or render animation depending on your choice and also try to set the frame of where you want to start and finish so if you are rendering an animation set your start frame to one and you can set your end frame to um any amount you want to um, set it to depending on the um one the frame per seconds you get 24 frame per seconds and the duration of your um animation so let's have amount to say like 240 and that'll be like 10 seconds so i can just say if i um, render and i can just render animation and when i render animation it saves here it saves in this um, folder i have set my output to and when i render image let me render um, an image so we can see it let me make it bigger so let's wait for it to render as you can see so this is the rendered image and don't forget we've already set our background to a transparent um background you get so it's still um counting so like, when you are done with uh, when it's done with rendering the samples you can just select image and select um save as you get and you save it so that's how to render um so that's just how to render in blender so um this is just how to use this um mock-up design it is very easy and if you have any problem or any question about the um mock-up design you can always um send a, an email or you can also text me on ig my handles will be in the um description um box so you can get this mock-up on my gumroad account so you can purchase them right now and start using them for your um t-shirt brand or any of your clothing brand so thank you for watching this tutorial video don't forget to click on the subscribe button to get more videos